be late. She feisty. She's very feisty. Mm. Jeez, we're just wait, we're, we're lay waiting the one twenty nine. I know. Actually, we should have hired Jody as our manager. You mm -hmm. know, hey. at least she'll be on time. I know. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She'll be on we time. We have our ducks in a row with Jody there. Mm -hmm. mm. She probably been our alarm clock ring ring ring. Bing 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 bing. Good morning, ladies. Late. You don't wake up now, you're gonna be late. <laughs> so it's always oh, 1.30 now, it's 1.30 now. But yeah, no matter what we do, we still are gonna late. But it's within the one thirty. it's within the minute of the one thirty. So we're not late, watch her. I hope she's not the first one on. Ah, she's the first one. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> we're just chatting you. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Jamie. everybody. Jamie what Jams. are those things? What is that arrow underneath? There's an arrow and a heart. What does what that is mean? That? What is that? I don't know. So I let's see Instagram oh comes up with new Instagram is doing new things. Under every comment now, there's an arrow and a heart. And I just can't manage. What does that mean? Jody says we're not, not late. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky, where we take your mind off of what's going on outside of the closet and bring you in here for an hour of fun, frolic, and foolishness. You know that's our favorite part. I know. We love the foolishness. Jody got in a fight over the weekend. Yeah. Well, you know these things happen, but you know she hasn't been to the dentist yet to get her veneers. So. 14. These things happen. These things happen. You're lucky, say so you're not talking with a whistle. Wait, the air go through. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo. Ah. Ah. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, I guess some people can reply to the thing. That's oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So anyway, mm -hmm. so we went out over the weekend. Yes, we it did. It was our first time being out since Ramesh lifted the curfew. Since Ramesh lifted the curfew. Not because we, we... Oh, anyway, yes, yes. Yes, it's our first time out since Ramesh lifted the curfew. Thank you, Ramesh. Yes, Ramesh for president. Ramesh prime, for president. Prime, well, prime minister. Ramesh, Ramesh for, for prime, prime minister. minister. So, but I think that I drank a little bit too much gin. Um, I don't know, me and the gin... So speaking of which, we have a star fruit rosemary cucumber with gin. <laughs> and I have mine with, mine is an apricot thyme with ginger. I'm really enjoying the ginger on this You one. are? Yeah. Girl, me and the I was having such a hangover on Sunday, I don't even think you understand. I don't think you understand. No, I understand you then and my husband were just laid Passed down, on, passed out. Yes, my, no, but Scott slept for a very long time and he was knocked out, you know. He no. took up the whole couch. Because usually we split the couch. Yeah, usually Scott and Jody split the couch. So Scott on one side of the couch, I'm on the other, and we can recline. But the recliner side on the left, Scott's side broke. So Scott just took up the whole couch. I know. Terrible. Terrible. Jeez, I'm of his mercy. <sighs> Alright, hey. so we um our Lady B mixology today bringing back the gin, the taste of the weekend. Yeah, Scott did mash like potato, Joe. Woo! Mash like potato. Ro Marley is in the house. I Hello. thought you were supposed to hold off on the alcohol for 90 days. How? Oh, okay. By the way, by the way, I want you to know that before Jodie started this show, she was like, I'm not supposed to be drinking, you know, but here I am. And I'm like, Joe, what the I'm hell? taking, but I'm, I'm, I'm sipping slow with, you know, a little spit to wash it down. So it's not that Ew, strong. Gross. So I'm taking a I sip. I actually hate that word spit. Really? Yeah. So I have like little slivers. <laughs> So every time I take a, a sip, I just slibbles down, you know? If I wash it down with like a mouth water, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's do a giveaway for the early crew. Jeez, okay, all right, cool. But what you have to give away? I have a gift certificate to Candy Craze. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh. What is a question, Tracy? Oh my God, you know, I wish some of you get. oh my gosh, sorry, Lord. I wish some of you guys would inbox me with questions to ask because this is ridiculous. Anyway, the question I'm going to ask is, what color was my dress that I wore on Saturday no, night? No, 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 no. Why? No, Tracy, you can't. That's a stupid question. That's not a stupid Why question. Why don't you ask, where are the two candy crazy locations? You can't ask about your color dress. We asked that question already about the candy crazy locations. We can ask it again. Okay. Where? No, Johnny Jams. No more. No more for you. No more. 
Jeremy Jones is not allowed to answer this question. <laughs> Somebody else answered above. Who was it? It was, hold on. It was The Adventures of Leon Zeus. Um, no, Jammy Jams. No, it was Island Babe 24. She says Baby Blue. Island Babe 24. You have won yourself a $1,000 gift certificate to Candy Craze. You can pick it up at the Progressive Plaza location. Don't ask any more stupid questions like that either. It cannot be personal. I don't find it was you stupid. You are running up. It's very stupid. I don't find it was stupid. Island Babe 24 doesn't think it was stupid. I feel bad for Jammy Jams. I know. But no, Jammy Jams Jamila, so She's much. such a holy but thing she win. She win enough things in us. Oh, Lord of mercy. Like, Jammy Jams, you should go buy a lotto, actually. Okay, so <laughs> that was a good question. Watch Lady B. She exactly. loves the foolish that was this a good man. Question. Take a sip. Take a sip. Mm-hmm. hmm Greetings from Santiago, Chile. Chile! Ah, hola. So, any, uh-huh. I have a question to ask you, right? Yes, yeah. And when I say you, I don't just mean me. Me, less Joe. I mean everybody out there, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, I notice. And everybody else notices, so it's just not me, but men in general nowadays are becoming very metrosexual in the sense that they're taking care of themselves a lot more. Like men are just like the tough, rugged, smelly wildebeest that they used to be, you know? So like <laughs> <laughs> So wow. like no man them comb up, them shave up, them do them hair. You know, like a lot more men are becoming pretty boys. Like, you know, they they're mm. taking a interest in what they're wearing they're actually ironing their clothes you know like i don't know which guys you used to hang out with this neanderthal Mm -hmm. but i like a guy that's not metrosexual but i like a guy that puts himself together like puts a little care into it you know and then i feel like a lot of guys are going more metrosexual but i feel like some guys are taking it like even a step further and doing more things that like women would do but not necessarily are they like a body waxing well, well like yeah like waxing or waxing their legs or something like that or waxing but these men aren't necessarily Mm-mm. I'm me sorry if i get to lay down in a bed and a man smooth like marble glass i'm sorry i'm leaving I feel like I would just slide all over him like a no no mm, 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 mm. like they do their eyebrows no that's all right that's all right I can deal with that they do their waxing oh, they mm. do facials on themselves that's like cool that's cool face, that's cool face. yeah you know like they take like a time out you know you know when you slap a roach on the counter and the roach sprawls out and goes like this that's yeah. how I feel I would be uh, like a fully waxed man I want Let to grip. oh you okay, know what I mean okay, like I can't not into it not into it leave, leave a little you know even like, you do, we do what it, you do. Some of them are even wearing women's clothing. I don't think that was a positive. I don't think that was a positive. No, but I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> that they're doing more, like you know, they're getting more into like the routine of like you know, feminine things. But where is the line that you draw? So yours is what. And I was thinking the other day, I was like, what if it became a trend that I, I mean, men are wearing makeup too now. Men wear makeup. Oh, all right, but I, I and men wear weave, man cup. You know, and like, men and men are weave. I so like the weave. So I was like, what if men started doing their lashes? Yeah, no, hold on, hold on. I think that men on a whole, men are nice. Nice man. Right? All I think you need is a little bit of grooming. You just a little, what do you call it? Go to the barber and, you know, just the, the nice barbering. The, the, the lashes, no, 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 no. That's no. weird. No. No? Facials, yes. They call what about black- makeup? You know, you remember that video I sent you the other guy? So there was this guy on TikTok and I was like, what a handsome guy. He looked like a lumberjack. And he started to like conceal out his eyebrows. And I'm like, whoa. But at the end of it, he looked really nice. But then I was like, yo, I don't want to be like, oh, um, here, babe. <laughs> you like, you're not like that. Like, hurry up, put it, hurry up, put it, please, you know? <laughs> Jeez, bro. You just take it so long. Like, I don't know. There's like a line that draws for me, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, Britney says she just dropped off. So, Britney, love talk to me on a Tuesday. Britney, me can't talk to you on a Tuesday. <laughs> so, yes, no no lashes. Oh, hi, Davina. She called hey, us Davina. today. Oh, I saw a picture of her nyaming some food down by the river yesterday. Yeah? Real old nyamas. 
Shall I want to? Yeah? Shall I want to? I, I want to. I know my bestie. Oh, you know your bestie. Know well, next bestie. time she'll invite you. Maybe. 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 We, have Maybe. A, we have an understanding in the relationship, you know? But like, yeah. And I, I just feel that that's so... It's so... Yeah, different. You know, and I can appreciate. So even with women, different women like and do different things. So you'll have yeah. one girl that's very natural, very simple, and she's cool with that. Then you'll have another girl that, like, from head to toe, always needs to be put together. So I find with men, you'll have that too. You'll have a guy where you know just wash them face with bath soap and they're good to go. And then mm -hmm. you'll have another guy that wants to do a million and one different things. Um, so I guess, but like, I'm not going to lie. For a straight per for a straight man doing these things, it's weird. But for me, when a gay man is doing these things, I'm super interested because I mm. want to know like, what's your facial routine? What are you doing? How does your skin look so good? Is my fi outfit okay? Like I just feel like mm. like I just feel like they should know more about these <laughs> things. Right? Okay, <laughs> it's so weird. Like when I was going to hairdressing school, like all the gay guys, if they complimented my work, I'd be like, yo. I'm yeah, the boss. Yeah. I'm the boss, right? <laughs> like it's so weird how we how like that's kind of like I think like that, you yeah. know? Okay, okay. Well, you know, we are seeing more acceptance. We are seeing a lot of change. We are seeing more um more genders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think that being more open in your approach to how you view things, to how you speak about things, mm -hmm. to how you um you don't have to accept things, but to how you how you approach things I think is very important because looking at what is happening in stories, in kids' stories, in kid cartoons, mm -hmm. looking at the genders available, there's more than two. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how much I agree or disagree with it, it mm -hmm. is still going to be there. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine who has a teenager was saying that it is very difficult right now um, transitioning from when we were in Jamaica, oh, shut bus up this one and shut bus up that one and how homophobic we are, to then having a teenager who comes home and says, yeah, mom, like, I kiss everybody. You know, which again, I saw you. Is, you may not agree with no, that. I just but don't like kissing everybody because yeah, like, yeah, it it's, leads to, it's it's like it's saliva okay. exchange. It's a spit thing again. It's I a, can't do the spit thing. Okay, okay. Like if you want to kiss, just kiss one, one person. person. Okay. I was going to a night. <laughs> <laughs> one a night, one a night. Like I don't mind it. How, like if you want, whoever you want to kiss, that's fine. Just one a night. Like I don't like that. I don't like. Nobody likes that teeth. Oh, it can't come off. Nobody likes your tooth. How you got it off? I had to use a water and scrub here. Try this one. This is over. So more water don't work. No. Guys, I was just trying to lick something. Yeah, she's but trying not coming off. She's trying the homeless look apparently. Yeah, yeah, so okay, I want you to ask, since we went there, since we went there, right? Jamaicans don't kiss, it's not our thing. Win some, I love kissing. I love a throat salt. You don't like a throat salt? Oh, um, so, yeah, so yeah, since we're in the story of kissing and stuff, you guys don't like a throat salt. I love a throat salt. Like, just a no, long, like, I can't do a like long a, minute okay. of kissing, like a... But it can't hate it. Yeah, because it has to be planned. Like you can't come one kiss me and you had garlic for lunch and the whole of your throat break from lunch going. Jody, on. why would you even want a throat out if you've had garlic? You should it, know because that you're making it seem out. like chokes me out at any time of the day. Hubba hubba, come here. No. 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 How do you mean? You listen okay, fine. And when you listen, open up your throat out. That kind of gargle. You have a clean out everywhere. Okay. So say you've cleaned out everywhere, <laughs> and then you don't want to throw it so it's... Yeah, all yeah, all right, so it's... So, okay, fine. So when you were a teenager and you had things with somebody, what did that mean? That meant I kissed them. Yeah, but then you know, so you're going like, Lord, let me pack up my mints and your gum and the whole night you chew juicy fruit. So you have juicy fruit throat. And you just say... So how long did you have things with them for? Was it just like a... Okay, done party time. Or was it like a no man? You said you rub up. up. <laughs> okay. Which rub up? We are at a party. But like rub up like this, like you know you're dancing and then holy titty like this. Mm, no, I, I I wouldn't mean I dance with anybody holding my titty. Oh. So. Anyway, let us change Tracy the subject. looking very. Mm. Oh, thank you. No, I don't want to change the subject yet mm. because I okay, also okay. want to know how many guys or girls is it acceptable for you to kiss per night? One. 
You just said a while ago. No, I was, I was joking. First of all, I'm married, so I'm only kissing one forever, right? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Second of all, you want mixed throat breath in your mouth? That's what I'm saying. What do you think this is? A, co a cocktail? Like, a, like, a, like, like. It. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, That's why no. I made that face. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think you should kiss more than one person. I three per night? Who, Who said you, that? Who do you love? It says three per night. No, man. No. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Guys, guys. No, man. Well, maybe if it's carnival, because some people like to wild out at carnival and then the alcohol. See, this is why he wants to drink a lick of alcohol. Thank you to Lady like Mythology. I feel like. And you can, like, Ugh! you know, and the alcohol will kill the breath. And then you can go about your business. I mean, I personally would not be okay with that. I don't think I've ever Sup kissed three guys no. in one night. Suppose you're all kissing somebody and you just start smelling them tonsil stone. Jody, stop! <laughs> okay. Oh, what kind of guys are you going out with? <laughs> I, none! None! What do you mean? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Lad, lad. Alcohol is everything. Agreed. Cheers. Um, I want to switch. Okay. Just rub off your tonsil stone. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, guys. So just giving you like a little update with what's going on. I, remember. Oh, I also want to know, I also want to know, is Ooh. this considered picking your nose? I just felt like this a while ago and this. Is that considered picking your nose? So I felt a little like... No, I feel like it's a scratch. I feel like picking yes. your nose is you're going up at least like a five, like a one centimeter and you're getting something. You know, like a little like scratch. No, 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 no. This is fine. This is fine. I find a dig is more like a, like you have something in your hand. So if you dig, you look at it. But when you scratch, you don't, cause you just finish. Yeah, right? yeah, cause it's like an itch. Right. A, a dig, you're going for a something, and then you have to look at it. After yeah, yeah, because right. you want to know if you got it. Okay, okay, okay. So you can scratch. It's fine. You're on TV camera. You're, you know, and you can even say, "Excuse me," but I think you. Bring attention to, to it, it. But because so, everybody knows it's a scratch. Right, right, right. So it's not like you're on camera. And you're like, so, all right, guys, we're gonna trans. That that's not acceptable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just checking. Let's check it. Scratch. All right, guys. So we're just I giving you scratch. another little update. I remember a couple of weeks ago we introduced you to the first cast cast member. Let's take another sip. The first cast member for Road Ready. Well, today we have our. Uh huh. Whoa, whoa! Gin for the win. Gin make you sin. <laughs> so, okay, we would like to introduce you to our second castmate. Um, if she's here, can you just give us a call on so we can... Um, oh, wait, hold on, see it's here. Jody, suppose you have to go to the dentist to clean that up. Tracy just got hers off. Oh, all right, where do we go again? Um, this one? No, that's... that's no. There we where go. is she? Where is she? She's here? There she is. Alright, so just giving um YouTube an update with what's going on. So we are on IG and we are now calling Excuse me, Amber. Corby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is! Oh, what a beautiful lady! Hi, Hi ladies! Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. And we just want Thank to welcome you. you to our little show that we have here on a Tuesday and welcome to the Road Ready family. So um, please introduce yourself. Okay. Oh my gosh, well, I'm Corbea. It is so nice to meet you, ladies. I love, Jody. I love getting an opportunity to speak with you because it always reminds me how amazing and big the show is going to be. That is true. That is true. It is going to, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be a part of the family. But Jody, really yeah. quickly, what is that? Something I can't get it off. I can't get it what off. Is so it's what like tooth it, nail polish. It's tooth, tooth nail, nail polish. polish. So I was like, oh, <gasps> let me just put it on and see what everybody says. And then the joke's on me because I can't get it off. <laughs> Very, very bad. Oh, so where? So, <laughs> but yes, but yes, I'm 
but yes, I speak Spanish. I actually just came from Colombia. I was there oh. for eight days by sure. myself. So, sure. I sure. <laughs> so how many I carnivals survived. have you I jumped and where, which carnivals have you jumped? Zero. She's our carnival newbie. Oh my gosh, Corfeo, we're going bussy ducks on Road Ready TV. Yeah, Hold so on, you just said we. Are you coming to Road Ready TV? You coming? So I don't understand. I well, thought, okay. Team. Well, you are you were cussing and I was leaving during Stevie's birthday. But if you want to come, that's not a problem. We can shift the birthday. You can come. Corvea is gonna need someone to help her. We're gonna talk about this because I didn't yeah. know I wasn't included. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I've never jumped a carnival, as you guys say, but I have been exposed to it. So I traveled to a um, carnival in Toronto, Canada. Okay. Okay. And it was amazing. So I wore jean shorts mm -hmm. and a tank top. And I'm walking, you know, down the street, and there's men jumping behind me, dancing with me, <laughs> dancing with me, asking me where's my costume. And I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and so, I loved it. So you must be so excited to wear a costume for the first time. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, oh. want, I want the best. You want the best. I want the best. So what it, what about the costume means the most to you? Like for me personally, I don't like the feathers. It's a nakedness of the costume that I love. So for Jodi, she loves a feather. What do you like? I love sequins, glam, mm -hmm. diamonds, gold. Mm -hmm. I love the nakedness. Mm -hmm. I, I work for a little bit of toning on my body, so why not show it off, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And... I think color too. I also want to represent my culture. So I'm Latina. Mm -hmm. My family's from Puerto Rico. I want to make sure that I represent that side of me. Okay. So let me ask you this. Do you have a boyfriend? No. No. Oh! So hold on. You do. Calm hold down. On. Calm down. You're not going to give no trouble. I'm just asking. Okay. I'm okay. Fine. okay. No, 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 no. So Corvea. Are you the kind of girl that would kiss three guys in one night? Or girls, I'm not sure where, I'm not sure, you know, what's going on here, but, you know, okay, okay, she sips her tea, she sips her tea. Yeah, but she kind of barfed in her mouth before. I'll be honest with you, I love socializing, I can be a little bit of a flirt, but germs are a big, big deal for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, we can dance, but when it comes to lip locking... I, I might have to pass. So when you said, you know, germs are a big deal for you. So, you know, a lot of these carnival parties are constituted of sweaty rub-ups. How do you feel about that? Yes, the sweaty rub-up. Okay. I can, I can handle that. I can handle the sweat. I cannot handle the saliva. <laughs> I am with you on that one. 100%. No, no. Cooties. Somebody said cooties. I agree. Cooties are... Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> do you think you're gonna have you kissed so, somebody three people in one night never okay so never okay 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 and i'm not saying anything to anybody who has because you know i i admire your choices. expertise mm -hmm. in like tongue lashing right but you understand so anyway corvea <laughs> are you a sneakers girl or are you a boots kind mm, of boots and heels good question girl? oh my god that's such a good question and for me it's a great question because i'm both <laughs> yeah. So with your so costume, you, go ahead. With your costume, what, what would you wear? Would you wear boots or would you wear sneakers? Boots. 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 You know why though, ladies? So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm 120 pounds, and for me, I know in carnival there's gonna be beautiful curvy women, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, the boots, the heels, they're gonna make my legs look so good. <laughs> I gotta do it. So they, they'll, they'll amp up your legs a little bit and give you a little curve on the booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, give me a little, eh, a little eh, eh. I gotta get as much as I can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Corvea, how old are you? Stop asking girls that question. No, I find that if you're going to be on a reality TV show, you already know that we want to know everything about your life. So I don't feel like there's anything that's off topic. It's like going into Miss Jamaica and pretending that you're not going to be on stage. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. So Corvey is 30 years old. So that is good. So you are the prime of your life, girl. This is the oh, prime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, so Corbea, we want to thank you so much for joining us and we're going to see you real soon because, you know, things are happening behind the scenes for Road Ready, so make sure you're getting yourself ready. You know, well, I saw your body already. You're, yes. you're, you're, you're well and ready. You're ready. Carnival could have tomorrow for thank you. Thank you. Good to go. Corbea, <laughs> I'm thank so excited. You thank you so much for joining us and we will see you real soon on Road Ready. Clap it. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> It's very cute. All right, everybody. Um, that was our second, second cast concept. member for Road Ready, and as you can see, she's a little cutie. She's, she's ready. so cute. She's very cute. She's very cute, and I feel like so far the girls are fun. Like I could yeah. definitely see myself wanting with to, them. Yes, like regularly. Yeah. Yes. So you know, no, but Grace mm -hmm. is like, my body's cute. <laughs> Girl, oh, you haven't seen her. Her body I is cute. Love, I love when people in general like are so confident about themselves yeah. and know what they're like. Know what they're you have about. to love yourself yeah. before I you love, love anybody it. else. You I know, Corvea will love I you. Love it. So, still on the carnival topic, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Corvea is still here. Road Ready is here. Fitz is giving Let's... a marriage proposal to Corvea. <laughs> <laughs> Fitz, she wants you to take her out to eat, and you only eat Wendy's uh, uh, one other something. So, if it, if it's seasoned with Maggie, could you it? Yes, yes. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about Jamaica Carnival. Guys, I can't get the thing off my tooth. I, I came to trick you guys as I got in a fight and I lost my tooth. And now the damn thing not coming off. Oh, Road Ready TV has said that the boys are coming soon to do their interview. <laughs> oh, am I going to blush when I see these boys? You sure are. Nice. Yes. Okay, okay. Should we have Scott on the show to make sure that it doesn't get too No, bad? no. Scott can stay one side, man. I this is, this is, we are working. Okay. This is a professional environment where we talk about tonsil stone and ch chokes it up, people. <laughs> okay, so let's move on a little bit to, still, we're still on Carnival. Girl. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica Carnival is happening. Jamaica Carnival is happening, but there's a little toss up with the date. So it's um July, July, July or October. October. So I would you love you guys to just write in the comments right now what you would prefer, July, July or, or October. October. And I'm going to give my state on what I would like, and you can give yours on what you okay. would like. Alright. Okay, alright. Yeah. So I'm for October. Um What are you for? You see, it depends. I can't no, no, no. It's, it's a one word answer. I'm for October. What are you for? Are you for October or July? Um July. Okay. I'm for October. This is the reason I'm for October, right? Jodie, keep count while I'm talking, right? No, I must count. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just just say who, who how many July's, how many Octobers. I can just see more July's or October. I'm for October. The reason why I'm for October is simply this. Number one, my body not ready. Right? I need the time to get my body ready. I need my gym membership. I need to get my body ready. I need to just like tone up or I don't, personally, I don't feel like I need to use weight, but I know there are some ladies out there who might feel like that or some men out there who might feel like that. So that is the one reason I need to get my body in gear. Second of all, why I'm for October is because it's super hot in July. I don't want to pass out on the road. Like, geez, I'm already going to be drinking myself into an oblivion. I don't need to get a migraine from the sun, right? That's number two. Number three, financially, October is a better time for me because July is in the middle of summer. I already have some things planned out and October I can financially more afford um, carnival and I think that that is more viable for other people who are going to have to find a flight down find accommodations find all of that so I think October is a much better time those are my three reasonings for October Jody go okay so the reason why I would say July and all your points are valid right but I'm gonna this is how you agree to disagree we are going to be mature tonsil stones <laughs> <laughs> so from a business standpoint we have not had carnival in two years. So mm -hmm. there's a backlog a log of costumes, of party tickets. There is this backlog of things that the promoters need to get rid of to start afresh, to start planning for next year. Mm -hmm. The costumes and the feathers are here, right? And not only that, but to be honest with you, like we are going to get locked down again. So I'm sh from a business standpoint, to get this over and done with before there's another lockdown to keep this um, it, further in postponement. 
Mm. The people want back their money. And then also too, so say Tracy bought a costume two years ago, but she won't be here in July. That's not Tracy's business. So I'm sure there'll be a platform in which you'll be able to sell and they will help you. But from a business standpoint, they need to get rid of that shit to start afresh. And okay. then how can you have carnival in October and then be planning for April 2023? Right. Okay. Okay. I understand that. And that is very good standpoint because I love how I'm coming from... Uh, veterans type of thing and right. you're coming from like a promoters type of thing right right which i think are two very 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 and important standpoints andrew bellamy's points for october were excellent yeah they were excellent and but i find that andrew bellamy is a strong speaker like mm -hmm. he always comes across very like his points are always very like right. valid yes you know? yes and he was saying other things too that basically the only carnival we would I didn't read what he had to write though. So what Andrew was saying um, was that also we have to look at carnival as a community. We are a carnival community within the Caribbean. And in July there are other carnivals that are happening within the summer months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we don't want Jamaica to be taking away flights and, and trips from another Caribbean country that have yeah. already planned okay. and this is their month. Right. You know what I mean? Right, It'll right, give right. people a time to plan. And also in October we do have a holiday. Um, October is a little bit cooler and, and there's less carnivals in October so we won't be competing with our Caribbean counterparts right, right, and right. I thought you know what for a promoter just in general I really appreciated that stance that he took because mm -hmm. it was so selfless for you to be thinking about the other carnival um, carnivals in the Caribbean because mm -hmm. this really is a community yeah. and we do have to think about our other island sisters and brothers who you know need this as a tourism that is their main income you know what I mean so Queen Italy says um, Queen Italy Jamaican Queen boy she had Queen all over Universal Queen you need to change your name girl Universal Queen she says that it usually rains in October so how do you feel about carnival when it rains you know what once I've gotten my pictures, so Corvia and I and Tracy, right? We're gonna take our photo. We're gonna no, 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 no hugging. Individual photos, bottom shots, all of those. Once I get my postable Instagram picture, the rain could have come down like tonsil stone in the tree. Some, <laughs> and then I'm good. I will take off my feathers. I'll slick back my hair. I usually do have a cap in my bag to put on to keep all of the glitter from running into my eyes and pin up my hair and I'm good to go. The whole look, and I actually, you know what? I kind of like when it rains more because the, the whole fancy, fashionable, who's watching me, am I perfect? Oh, is my nipple in? Oh my goodness, is my body gloss sitting right? That goes out the door. Yeah. The well, rain yeah. brings out all of the inhibitions. So it rained at one of my best friend's wedding and she is the only child for her mother, right? And she's the only child for her mother. And her mother is one of these women who are just fabulous. I can't explain who's, Aunt, who's this? Auntie Anne-Marie. Uh, ah, yes, 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 yes. I yes. can't explain Auntie Anne-Marie any other way than fabulous, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Sam is Auntie Anne-Marie's one daughter. So Sam has sisters and brothers, but through her father, right? right? So this wedding was really a big deal for Auntie Anne Marie and um it was and also for Samantha and her brothers and sisters it, but it was a very big deal for Auntie Anne Marie and she spared no expense for Samantha's wedding. I mean it was and then we were young too. Samantha got married very 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 young. We were young and I mean there, no expense was spared. It was ridiculous. It was out of control. Anyway, the wedding happened at the church and we got to the reception and it was at Laughing Waters, which is a beautiful property here in Jamaica. It is a government owned property. It, the river runs through it. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just picturesque, right? Anyway, when we got there, the rain start to pour. Like, thunderstorm was going on and so everybody like, Kitch up under the tent because we were all we were all like so ex like we didn't want to get wet because of our makeup our hair and whatever whatever anyway auntie Anne Marie and her fabulous self decided that this wasn't happening for her one daughter's wedding we were all gonna have a good time and she went out into the rain in her glamorous dress and she told all the waiters with all of the all of the champagne to get out into the rain too right and so if you wanted a glass of champagne, you had to come into the rain to get it poured. And then she was like, Tracy! Of course, you know, I'm the loudmouth friend. She was like, Tracy! So we got in there and 
eventually everybody got into the rain and we're all dancing in the rain. And let me tell you something, that was one of the best weddings I have ever been to because all inhibitions were just gone. All we cared about was drinking Prosecco or champagne and having a good time in the rain. So, you know, rain during carnival doesn't really bother, bother me. me. Yeah. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. All right, everybody, today I see we you brought some things up here, like a little girl. No, just, just the milkshakes from Candy Craze. Boy, these milkshakes are thick, man. They're thick. Let me tell you something. It's not locked, babes. We're being. Oh, Kaka coming. <laughs> so today we have milkshakes from Candy Craze. Oh, as I've said before a million and one times, Candy Craze to me has the best ice cream. This is rivaling a Pelican milkshake. Let me see. So Pelican has the best milkshakes in Jamaica by far, but this oh, is definitely good. like. I think I'm gonna have to go to Candy Craze. This, I think this is a very, very good milkshake. Not too much makeup, Ram. I think I'm gonna have to switch. I think this is the best milkshake in Jamaica. What do you think? This is. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're coming up? Mm. I'm coming up on you. All right, hold on. Let me go uh, over here. I've never had a milkshake like this That's before. That's so nice and thick. Yeah. I've never yeah, had a milkshake like this before. I'm trying this one. You try this one? So guys, Candy Craze has two locations. They're Fontana Waterloo upstairs, <laughs> upstairs and also um, in the new Progressive Plaza. You want to try the chocolate? Mm, it's so thick. thick. Why? I don't drink chocolate. Remy, you want to try the chocolate milkshake? Mm. Oh, boom. Let me taste that one again. I like it's this so one. good. Wow. <laughs> Was he fighting you? Mm -hmm. It's like, look. This part is like a Christmas part. Like you it. see the straw, guys. The straw is like a Christmas part. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you can check out Candy Craze um, at either of their two locations. Not only do they have no, milkshakes, this they have is ice so cream. Good. The, the coffee, I, ew. coffee ice cream. Oh my gosh! And then you can get the ice cream chopped up with what do you call it? The coal plate ice cream, stone coal, coal yeah, stone. And then you have all of the candies on the walls. You can buy the candies by the ounce, by the pound, by the one. Doesn't that taste so good? You know, this one tastes the betterest. This one is the good. The vanilla? I love this one. I love the vanilla. How come it's hanging? Because that's twang what in? they do on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. And mm. guess what? It's so thick that even when Levi's Auntie still, Tricky, guess little what? Little. what? Tell them that you started up something one day for me. Oh, oh some. yeah, thanks Trey. Mm -hmm. So, Levi now is officially working on his ninja belt and he goes to well, ninja like, classes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh, don't want to name a name I mm -hmm. want the paper. Please, can I have, this is so good. I can't get paper over it. Paper. Like, Their ice really cream good. is really good. It's so good. Oh, candy craze man. Woo! Mm. Okay. So you guys, oh, Remy, you know your book that you like, Leo and Zeus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the author is here. Okay, you want to tell her hi? Hello. Hi, author. <laughs> Did you guys see that um, Rihanna went shopping in Target and she was purchasing or it looked as if she was selecting girl clothes? I think she was doing it to throw off everybody. I honestly do. Why would Rihanna, one, dress the puss back foot in heels, be in Target with no mask, and then she knows people are going to like, people know they're going to check her out. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to be hidden, I wish I was in Target. I wish I was in Target too. Oh, it fell on the ground. Pick up that paper for me. Pick up the paper. I got me on my cell phone. Pick it up. Good. Guys, a new movie just came up. If you if you put on Disney Plus on your phone or your TV or your iPad, then you will see a new um thing on your on Disney Plus and it's and it's a girl changing into a big red monster. Oh it's, yes, I saw that one. No way! Of course we but it's just out. No, 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 don't pull out the it straw. Don't on Friday. Don't pull out the straw. Wait, it comes out on Friday. I think so. Or well, last Friday. Go. Sock Remy. <sighs> no, it's... You it, got it? It, it? it comes today. Go again, so, Remy. So tomorrow, 
So tomorrow it will turning on. Turning red. That's what it's called. Turning, turning red. red. Yeah. Or somebody says changing red. Creation says I'm in Target three days a week. Why you never see Rihanna then? Push me. Push you where, Rihanna? There's please. nowhere to push Mommy, you. Mommy, please, yes. can we play red? Play uh, red? Yeah, yeah. Down okay. Okay. There's so everybody go and get your i Go and ask Daddy to get your iPad and go and ask Daddy to show you something, okay? Mommy yeah. and Auntie Tricky are going to finish up up here and then we're going to... um. We're going to show you the show. Why you didn't put on your clothes for ninja class? Because cause I know that it's going to get messy. So I didn't put to do an activity. So then this is the next question I want to ask you guys, right? After you have children and you become a mom, should you dress differently? Okay, that's just You mean like one. dress more motherly? No, I mean like yeah, you know like is it okay to paper. is it okay to still wear the let me get some super short mm. shorts? Is it okay to Excuse the, the crop top? Like do you dress? Um, I want the so I try my best when I'm driving into the school to pick up, or if I'm doing an activity at the school, like when I was you know helping with morning checking and stuff like that. I do try to be a little bit more covered, like I don't. If I have on my gym clothes, I'll put on a jacket. Just because I just think that's like a decent thing to do. But overall, I have not changed my style simply because I've had children. After my body's still good, my daddy and I go on running, you know. Woo! Yeah! I am wearing a batterizer sports day. So, yeah, so somebody just said depends on where you're going. Wait, what is it? Um. I can't get it off. The mother little. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's just like some black paint. I can't get it off. Is it kind of? Yeah. Ugh. Ew. You want to do it here too? No. You have ninja class to go to. Don't do it. Anyway. Yeah. So somebody says it just depends on where you're going, which is when you'd have to change up the um the look of what you're doing. So. I kind of agree Look, with that. Everybody yeah. gets a thing. Everybody gets yeah, a thing. Yeah, everybody gets a thing. And you know, and you, you know. You know what, since everybody gets a thing, Viva, do you have a special question that you'd like to ask somebody and then somebody will win a prize? Yes. Movie. Let me get. Okay, so everybody, Levi is going to ask the question and the winner will get a $1,000 gift certificate to Candy Craze. What is the question, Levi? The question. Who gets to go to Candy Craze the first time? No, no, no. That's not. That's not a good question. Try, try another question. Let me, let me, let me, let me get the question. That's not a good question, no, babe. It's so good. Um. Okay. 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 Mm, okay. Mm. a secret thing okay guys here's a question yeah just leave i'm gonna ask okay. it go yeah so what milkshake at auntie tricky and mommy get what, what flavors what flavor milkshake did auntie tricky and mommy get the first person to answer correctly the, go to the party remy go to the party all right let's see look for the winner look for the winner um wine says okay but you guys have to put the Come in here. You have to put the answer. All right, Moni underscore Barrett wins. Moni underscore Barrett. Moni underscore Barrett. You won. M O N I. Guys, get... know that you get fourteen choppers. Can you put that down? Oh my gosh. Jeez, it turns into a, it turns into a crazy zone once it keeps it coming here. Violet, it violences. So, All right, now so we're vanilla was your favorite? Yeah. How come we don't like the chocolate? Because I don't drink chocolate, but I drink... Uh, well, I don't I don't eat chocolate on um, things. I thought you loved chocolate. I don't like it. Mm, 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 mm. So now we're doing into the jokes. Mm -hmm. Careful, I know it's now. So yeah. All you right. Know. So who's going to go first for the joke? No, what's our next question? Our next question. Our question. So something else we wanted to discuss, mm -hmm. right? So why are black dollies so hard to find? So hard to find. You know, somebody, I posted up a picture of Stevie playing with our Barbie doll the other day. And it just so happened to be a fair-skinned Caucasian Barbie doll. 
and um, somebody was just like, where did you find, uh, is there any um, black Barbies available in Jamaica? And I was like, no, remember that Christmas that we were looking hard for Remy to find a black mm -hmm. doll? We even looked on Amazon, we couldn't find it. Asmart, Fontana, nowhere had black dolls. Why are they so hard to find? I don't know. And there was a young girl who was selling, um, around Christmas time, she was selling five different styles of darker skin dolls. And she sold out so quickly because the one that I wanted, she's like, oh no, that's sold out. There is a market for it. And it's just so hard to find black um Dark skin dollies. You don't say dark skin for a dolly. Dark dollies. Chocolate. Chocolate, Chocolate dollies. Yeah. Yeah. All that matters has them. Okay, I can mm. check all that matters. And all I'm right. not talking like the little cheapy cheapy brock apart ones, you know. Stop. All right, guys, let's do some jokes. Mm -hmm. okay. So who no, is going to All that first? matters in here, Wendell, Wendy, is like the truth. All right, who's going to do the joke first? We're doing the jokes, babes. You're on our show. No, you can go first. Okay. What do you call... Racy says she'll bring back some chocolate dollies for oh. Stevie. What do you call a flower that has lips? Two lips. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That was a joker today on Fire 105. And then, um... What was the other one? Yo, okay, Bambi is so corny. That we're talking about. Oh, fine. The next talk... Is I Big up to Miss Chin. The kids coming in. Come and ruin my show. Yeah. I don't have such a good topic to do today. You have a tricky score now? If you have security cameras, do you tell your staff? Oh, yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about. Yeah. All right, guys. Okay. No, so, so, like, I find that this is something that. There's nothing to stop here. Check if the device is on your home Wi Fi network. That's until you took his phone. I don't know what else. I have no so, excuse. Yeah, if you have security cameras around your house, do you tell your staff that, hey, I have security cameras, or do you leave it and then watch them and then... Like, I don't know. I don't know. Some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. Um, so who do you love says yes, it's mandatory that you tell your staff. Um, so, you know... I think security cameras are becoming something that everybody has. Like, it's not something that's, oh, for most the fancy people. people have anymore. Like, most people... Actually, mm -hmm. I can say all of my friends have security cameras in their house. Okay, so let's not make such a broad statement. No, but it's, say it's becoming a lot of... It's a more common. And it's becoming more common, and okay. it's also becoming more Accessible. financially available for you to have security cameras in if, your house. Like, I bought mine for $20 off of Amazon, mm -hmm. and then I bought a couple of them. So it wasn't like it was this huge setup. It wasn't like it, it was this huge... It wasn't fortunate that I was I mean, to Timmy. It wasn't like it was this huge setup. It wasn't like it was this huge expense. And I found out it was very affordable. So for me, having a baby, it was something that was really important for me to Let's have. Let's see what Nana is doing. Spy on Nana. Yeah, we can spy on Nana. But I want to know if, like, do you tell your staff do, that you have these security cameras? Like, what? When everybody who is here came, except Miss Arlene, because she's been here a while. Yeah, I, I never, I never like said it. Like I wasn't like, okay, guys, I'm recording you, but you, you can't miss them. What do you think those things are sticking off the wall? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. And then I've said things like, oh yeah, I saw last time when we're gonna jump out of our crib. Why? How do you think I would see that? You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. not like I'm mum about it. Like I'll say things, or I'll show them. I'm like, you have to look at this. You know. So yeah. <laughs> What is Nana doing? Uh, well, Mr. Rose is cleaning Stevie's bedroom right now. Can I see? Can I see? Mm-hmm. Tell her thanks for the banana, Sumi. And let's no, see what Nana is doing. Nana not there. She took Stevie for a walk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Diana says, I don't feel like it should be a surprise these days. You know? Um... Yeah. And I do feel that security cameras are super, super, super affordable. So... Would it be something that you would have a company set up like there's a lot of security camera companies there's like the ring company there's iProtect yeah. there's a lot of companies out mm -hmm. there that provide it or would you do something cheaper like just buy off of Amazon and do your own thing well that's what I did well to be honest with you I actually mixed the two so when I moved in here the house is wired with the cat5 cables but then to be able to access some of the other rooms they were gonna have to drill into the roof and Sean said yeah nah drill not more 
So then I ended up asking the security company to recommend a camera to me. They recommended the ones that I have here and they actually install them for me. But I have the app, I have everything. They showed me how to use it and then they just left me. But it's something you can buy. I bought the cameras off Amazon and then I was like, here, see it here. Because they were like, oh, we've heard of this new system. It's really, really cool. Buy it and let's see. So I was like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I monitor it myself. Like if I see what happened at this time, oh, and I go back and I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can get really great quality cameras nowadays mm -hmm. for very, very, very affordable prices. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. Cameras are in place to protect the staff as well. I agree. Mm -hmm. People. So no. Sabi says she has a security, right, she has a guys, dash cam in her car. Security right camera. guys, I'm going Yeah, downstairs. that would be pretty cool because then you can see like if in an accident you'd be like, no, no, that's not what happened. Because I find that in accidents, when you go into the, the, the company, the insurance company, people always start telling lies. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Like I remember I got in a big accident, somebody drove, I turned with my indicator, I drive like a granny, turned on my indicator, the man was overtaking, slapped into my driver's door. Thank God it wasn't Remy. Remy was behind me, by the way, and Remy was about three months old. And he came out and he told me sorry. He told me sorry more than once, right? The swim no. teacher saw my indicator on. She's way across there. None of my kids go to that swim school. Has no reason to lie. The teachers all came out because I was going to pick up Levi. And he said, sorry, when we read back the insurance things, he was saying how it was my um my fault. And I'm like, my fault? But I was on the correct side of the road and I was turning into a bit like, how is it my fault? He changed up what he had said to me the day of. I was really upset. I was like, you lied. You're lying. You're lying. This is not what happened. You told me sorry. You told me sorry twice. Worse when I took Remy out the back seat. Of course, Remy don't know. She didn't know what was going on. I remember Remy couldn't put her tongue in. She was like this. When I take Remy out the car, you see, man, I was like, oh, all right, Didi, I'm just going to take Remy on a little drive, a little breeze out. I think she'll be okay for the 20 minutes in the car. I she that could have put bam in, in a one accident. When I took Remy out the car, he visibly went like this. So sorry. Oh. A dash camera would be like, see, look. You yeah. finished it? Yeah. Tracy, you're lactose intolerant. You're going to fart up the place. I've been farting so much in my sleep. Poor Scott. Poor Scott. That was like the best milkshake I've ever had. Because her ice cream is so good. And I don't, I just want to let you guys know I don't like ice cream. I don't like ice cream. Um, you know what? I think that the ice cream when you buy it in the store, especially when you're buying a foreign brand in Jamaica, by the time it ships and it's melted a little bit and it's frozen back, it's very icy. So to taste a foreign ice cream in Jamaica, it's, it's not the same so creaminess good. that you I get overseas. I cannot believe I drank all of this. Oh my God. Candy Craze makes their own ice cream and I've always said that their ice cream is the best. Mm. Like their ice cream is so good. It's very good. I'm uh -huh. definitely going to fart. I don't know what's going to happen to me, but no, you're, mm -mm. I hope there's no cameras in back. my bathroom. We're going to <laughs> We're gonna need to tune, tune out early because I do not want you sharting down the place while you're here. <sighs> okay, so I do have a little tricky corner prepared. Okay, go ahead. And my tricky corner is um, how to know that enough is enough. And when I say enough is enough, it means in so many different aspects in your life. I feel that, you know, Nowadays we are older and we have all come into this wisdom or knowledge of ourselves and the universe and our place in this world and also oh um of this place of our place in the world and also like how we would like to be treated and how we should treat others. I feel that that's a very like you know, like the conscious vibe is very, mm -hmm. a very popular thing right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, so in trying to be conscious and worldly and trying to like understand that people have different personalities and you're trying to accommodate people. Well, how do you know that enough is enough? When do you stop putting yourself on the back burner for somebody else? Do you get what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. it could be in a friendship, it could be in a relationship, 
um, it could be with a, in a work relationship with your boss or whoever like when do you say I've had enough like I don't feel okay like I'm tired of always being treated like this or being put down mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and I think that's something that and we, it will affect your worth like, yeah it's like how you how you feel about yourself and then it will allow other people to also put you down too mm -hmm. Mm. And I think it's something that, you know, this day and age, we're encouraged to live and let live and try and understand other people and try and, you know, well, accommodate them for whatever reason. You know, you accommodate your boss, even though, you know, your boss is constantly putting you down, constantly giving you more work. You're getting no sort of... um no more money for the amount of work that your boss is giving you but you just take it because you're like well you know it's my boss it's my boss and like it's my job what you want me to do or you know your boyfriend or your partner is totally um being mean to you and you're like well i love him and don't you have to make compromises in a relationship or you have that friend that is always begging or always just mooching off for you at what point do you say enough is enough and how do you say that in a great in a way that lets them know that I'm not mad with you, I'm not upset with you, but I just want you to know that that's not where I am anymore, and we need to like split ways. Mm -hmm. I draw the line at messing with my peace mm -hmm. when they are not respecting your boundaries. And so the point of my tricky corner today is if you're feeling upset. At anything in your life or you're feeling a little bit worthless or you're feeling like you never get seen or heard I feel like it's a time for you to sit back and ask yourself have I had enough have I had enough and if you have had enough you need to think about getting your ducks in a row so that you can say to this person hey I've had enough and I no longer want to be treated like this. I'm moving on. Compromises are gone. There's no time for compromise. It's just about me building back my strength and becoming back the person who I know I can be and moving on into a new zone where you respect yourself and you gain, that, you gain back your power. Mm. I think that's something yeah. that we don't think about a lot. Because yeah. I think too, it all boils down to the whole finding your peace and being okay and, and, and you, you need that time for yourself to kind of regroup. And mm -hmm. if you don't find that time for yourself because you're always pouring from your overfilled cup, you know what I mean? I just find that you just need to find a little 10 minutes for yourself. And it doesn't necessarily mean 10 minutes of painting your nails or it could just be 10 minutes of sitting in silence and just coming to self-realization. Mm -hmm. Realizations, mm -hmm. okay, no problem. Yeah, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know um, to take that little ten minutes and just kind of talk to yourself. And once you're able to, once you're able to to, to see that there's an issue, you can acknowledge it and you can move on or you mm -hmm. can deal with it. You know, mm -hmm. so. All right, guys, before we head on up, we want to just big up our sponsors. Mommy sent in a message that somebody was saying they didn't get their prizes. I will check once again. I don't know if it was a Jakana prize. I did message you people from Jakana. Not sure if you're overseas. I did message Jakana about two weeks ago, and the last update I got was that they were about to ship out because they had changed their packaging and they didn't want to send you old packaging i will check again today there was also a package many many moons ago that was actually returned to me i can't remember what was in the package i think it was pick up pepper sauces the the address the person had given me was an incorrect address that was so long ago i don't remember um who it was sent out to um but let me check on um jacana because i don't like that when we give away prizes they're not being handed out because that's part of our show we do giveaways and we like people to receive and feel happy and i don't want you to think that they're not giving up nobody you know go away give it things we'll give it things um if it's for a candy craze gift certificate um that's tracy's fault i'm com i'm the it you you give me the words? Everybody has gotten their candy okay. Grace gift certificate. You wrote down the name of the lady? Yes, I did. And what was the first person you wrote that down to? Because the yes. children have come in here and caused havoc. Where is the The winners from today's show, if you're not getting nothing, it's, it's Remy and Levi. 
paper is down there anyway everybody we'd like to big up to our wonderful sponsors we have such an amazing team but let me tell you something the two of them are mix up together a beer pool barely where i get today <laughs> i know oh gosh <laughs> so thank you so much to lady b mixology she's uh making sure that the hangover does not end <laughs> with some more gin we have the star fruit rosemary cucumber with gin and then we have an apricot thyme with ginger and this is with whiskey Woo! And then we're washing down the wash down with some milkshakes from Candy Craze. I had a chocolate milkshake. Tracy had a vanilla milkshake. And um, Tracy, Tracy and Levi. <laughs> Tracy, yes, yes. I hope you're not getting a mouth water in there, you know. Definitely got mouth water. <laughs> Definitely. All right, everybody. We have a special surprise for you for next week Tuesday. When you are logging on for next week Tuesday, head on over to our YouTube channel and you will see the premiere of Tuesdays with Tricky. We are going to have lots of exciting, fun giveaways. We are going to actually, how do we do giveaways on YouTube? We're going to announce a few giveaways. We're going to have some very nice Amazon gift cards to give away. We're going to be talking about lots of great so things. So you know what, how we will do the giveaways? Go and follow the Instagram page, Tuesdays with Tricky, because we will be doing the giveaways over on the Instagram page, Tuesdays with Tricky. Right. Okay. So we're going to announce like in what the show. We're we going to announce in the show what giveaways we have. And we're going to make then sure we'll do it over the week yeah. on the Tuesdays. So make sure you're following page. the page Tuesdays with Tricky. And we will see you next week, Tuesday, for something a little bit different. So just hear us out, hear us out. Head on over to the YouTube channel and we'll make sure we have everything nice and done and set up on Chris and yeah. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next week, Tuesday, for another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky. Bye. Bye.